Look, before we get into the content, it's really important that you guys hit that subscribe button. We're out here every single day working for y'all, trying to hit y'all with the best content. And what motivates us to keep going is people like you. So hit the subscribe button, join the conversation, join the Deuce Gang. What he said. Martin Shkreli, Martin Shkreli, if that's the pronunciation, Martin sure. Shkreli, um, that asshole, uh, that guy, you know the guy, um, the one who purchased the Wu-Tang album, what was it, Once Upon a Time in Shaolin, the one that was like encrested in gold, <laughs> that album <laughs> that nobody's ever heard. Like so $2 obviously- million dollars he paid for it or something like that. Yeah, so, I mean, I won't go into his whole backstory, but he got effed. He got effed. He got effed right in the b-hole. And um, uh, basically, the government, the American government, took the album, and they sold the album to basically re- help repay what he owes. So that album is poof pow gone. Now, do we know who bought this album? Yes, we do know who bought this, this album. Who? The U.S. government seized it. No, and they sold it. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So the U.S. government seized it, took it, and and sold it. Who they sold it to uh, is, is I guess they didn't really sell it. They just kind of took it from Screlly. All right. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah. They, they didn't they didn't release the details of uh, how much they sold it for, nor did they reveal who they sold it to. Well, this is what I'm saying, right? To me, what I think they should have did with that is they should have just took it. Remember how they're gonna build that museum in Brooklyn, that like hip hop museum or whatever like right. that. They could have they donated. Should've... Exactly. What do we talk? Give it back to the culture. Right. Right. Yeah, like, but we're talking about the no. U.S. government. We're talking about the U.S. government here. I don't know what you really expected to happen. They're trying to get back the money that Mr. Shkreli owed them as far as the, the fine that he that he owned. And that's where the money went to. Whatever right. money they sold it to, they said that that was enough to cover it. So he's he's good on whatever he had paying left. So think about I don't, think, I don't but, know what they sold. It no, for, but OK, man. but yeah, but think about that for a second. Like he, you said he paid what? Dropped two M's for the album. I've, yeah, he paid like something like that. Yeah, this guy was in hella debt, hella debt, and then this was the final piece that they were able to sell to cover the rest of the debt. Remember when RZA had the idea to do this album? He wanted to like basically present it like art. Like there's one Mona Lisa, right? There's one Mona Lisa. You can't like. Of course, you could buy duplicates, but you can't buy more than the one original that's why right. the value of that that art it keeps going up one of one up that's it so this one was one. so this actually and when you think about it um riz's idea worked really really well and the other thing to also keep in mind is this is going to probably keep uh it will probably keep appreciating in value it's going to end up being worth a lot more than two million dollars, which is why I think it belongs in that hip hop museum. Well, here's the here's the thing that I'm that I'm wondering was was this auction made made public? Was this a private auction that nobody heard of? Because me personally, if I'm in the Wu Tang Clan, and I hear that this thing is up for for auction, I'm trying to buy it. Two or three of us can go in. Why <laughs> did nobody from the Why did nobody from the Wu Tang Clan go out and and get and scoop this up? Like. And why do I know that it's none of them? Because if they did, we would be knowing. It would not be anonymous. They would have been like, I bought it. Why would they hide it? It would be on the gram. <laughs> why would they hide it? Method Man would be holding that shit up like he won the NBA championship. But you know what, though? Okay. Jordan. Game seven. Whatever year, because there was lots of them. But those running shoes that he wore. Signed. That's going to be worth a lot of money, no? Yes? Yeah, yeah. anything that he wore in, in the playoffs. Okay, but let's just make it specifically that. Is it really still super valuable if the actual person who wore it has it? That's like that's weird. I feel like he could just produce as many of those as he wants. Be like, hey, I wore this all day today. And sign, there you go. Like, I feel like some of the value would be lost if the creator of it still has it yeah but the method man and these guys yes they're on the songs and everything but they weren't if you remember from the discussions that were had when this thing was being sold they had no part in this being sold being made any part they had zero parts in it and i just remember a lot of them complaining about that fact well not really trying to be out there outright complaining but like passive aggressively complaining like 
I didn't know anything about it. Like making those type of statements and I had no part in it. Making those type of statements, you know what I mean? So right. if this thing now, after feeling a ways and, you know, you find out that this thing now becomes available, why would you not go out and try to buy it unless you were unaware that this thing was up for auction? That's what I'm saying. Was this a private auction that this was done at? I want to know why they're holding back. Well, I mean, I can understand a lot of reasons of why they're holding back uh, the person's identity because they probably want to be safe. You know, they probably don't have enough security around them or whatever. (laughs) There's that. There is that. But I don't know. I just feel like it loses a bit of its cachet if the person who helped create it has it. I feel like it might devalue it a little bit. I don't know why I feel it. I think it just needs to stay in either the general public or museum. And when I say general public, of course, I mean behind some kind of glass case with like retina ID and... You know, you got to piss to even get the door open, that type of thing for, for it to keep on appreciating in value. I feel like if the owner has it and I could be wrong, I don't know. I don't have anything that's rare, but I could be totally wrong. But I feel like it will lose a little bit of its value if like the Rizza. Well, I think making I think making it anonymous helps it lose value, because now that we don't know who owns it, that leaves the door open for a lot of people to come out and try to replicate it and try to just make fake copies of that thing. Never going to sell happen. it. Never gonna happen. Come on, man! All you gotta do is create a fancy box, uh, put a CD in there. No, nah, man. There's a, but, some but fake it, documents. It, it, it comes with, as you mentioned, documents, documents authenticity, right. all the. It's just it. It's too. It's like it's, it's a like lot of a, paperwork. You're saying it's like what they did with the Canadian twenty dollar bill. They made it very, very, very hard to duplicate. Right. You can tell if it's a fake. In other words, okay. but um, uh, my question for you is, we haven't seen this done again. Nobody else did this. RZA said, hey, we're doing one project, one and one. That's it. We haven't seen it done again. And by the way, this worked successfully. So my question to you is, before we bring this to a wrap, who else could do this? Group or artists? Oh, that's, that's, that's tough. I, I personally can't think of anybody off the top of my head who it would be iconic, something iconic like this, unless... Unless all you could bring back the Jacksons and they did a they did a Jackson five type thing. Like it'd have to be on on that level in my mind. You know what I mean? I noticed you had to go back and that's where I'm going. I had to go way. I had to go way back. Temptations like you have to go back to those type of people. I'm thinking you would have to go to like Bob. You would have to unearth some a lot of unreleased content that never went out, a lot of footage, a lot of never seen, a lot of handwritten, um, uh, you know, song books. I'm thinking Bob Marley. If, if, I, I'm pretty sure this doesn't exist, but if they were able to compile something like that for Bob Marley, I'm thinking you're doing that. You're doing a million. You're probably doing even more than that. Just because Bob touched the P. Pe- they said Wu-Tang was for the children. Bob was for the world. Right. Bob was for the world. So I'm thinking, Bob, that would be amazing. Probably not going to happen. But it's just still weird that nobody else has done it. It works. It's, it's, it's it because worked. It, it it works for Wu. It worked for Wu Tang. That's what it is. It's not this cannot work for everybody. Just like how how Beyonce can release an album without any promo or anything like that. Well, quote unquote, no promo, a surprise album. And it could sell the way it does. Only Beyonce can do that. Not every artist can, can do that. Every artist, you need to do your promo like you can't you can't do the surprise album. It will not work for you. Well, definitely none of these popcorn artists today could do that. That's why you had to go back. Wu-Tang, when Wu-Tang did this, we were well into the 2000s. I think it was 2017 this happened. Wu-Tang was on top of the world in 94, 98. So yeah, I think it's it, the time, too, in between, like the, the gap in between them making putting out music that also adds to that, you know, nostalgia when you actually grab something and, and making it feel more exclusive. Right. That's true. It was a tangible thing. It wasn't something that you got online. It was. Oh, you fucking... know what? You know what? I got one. I got one. Outcast. They could do that. Outcast to do this. Outcast could do it. You're Outcast right. could Outcast do this. Could do if Outcast, Outcast could do came it. out with one of these things, that is the one group that I could think of. That could absolutely achieve this. Well, mostly because uh, their 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 content has been just flawless pretty much since like they've been making music. But right. also, also people have just been begging, pleading, give me <laughs> yeah. something, Andre three thousand, yeah, anything. Man. 
You can't just leave us with speaker box and the love below. You cannot yes. end like that. Like yes, you, can't yes. do, you can't you can't do that. It's like um a lot of our favorite um black sitcoms that never get that finale. Yeah. That's where we you are. You know what I mean? Yes. That's that's what it is. They gave that's they gave us that. Chaos. Ah, man. But but I I just want to show really quick. Yeah. I could make that. You know what? Viewing public. <laughs> What are your thoughts here, man? What group, what artist do you think can actually put something like this out and have it sell like one and one, one of one a million dollars, maybe more. If you had to dig back, who could do it? Really think about that for a second. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're on the toilet, join the Deuce Gang. Hey, hey, Deuce. Deuce. Yo, thanks for watching that video, making it all the way to the end. You made it this far. You have to like Please subscribe and comment on the video as well. Join the conversation. Absolutely. We finally hit our goal of 500 subscribers. Yes, yes we are trying to get to 1,000. And Whee! we can only do that with your help. You can start by watching that next video. You see that tiny little icon? Click on that icon. Rinse and repeat. Deuces. Deuces. Yo, thanks for watching that video, making it all the way to the end. You made it this far. You have to like, please subscribe and comment on the video as well. Join the conversation. Absolutely. We finally hit our goal of 500 subscribers. Yes, yes we are trying to get to a thousand and we can only do that with your help. You can start by watching that next video. You see that tiny little icon? Click on that icon, rinse and repeat. Deuces. Deuces.